digital literacy, we consider it as a, one of the important pillars in transforming education. One of the biggest challenges today is to ensure that more than uh, 4,000 schools are connected to the internet. The people that we're teaching are going to be the citizens of tomorrow. So it is important that they're equipped uh, with the right kind of skills and digital is the only way to go. About 90% of children coming out of secondary education are not proceeding to higher education. So it is key for teachers as well as students to have digital literacy when they come out of secondary education to make sure that they are at least productive in a job environment. We have been working with government to come up with a solution that would be more scalable. Um, RTB has come in with uh, GIZ actually, and we've put together a project that works in this project we are training 30 master trainers, one in each district in Rwanda, and they in turn have a group of up to 100 trainers that they are training completely online. And they act as their focal point in the district and guide them through the online platform. So the challenge we are trying to address with this project is the lack of basic digital literacy. So it's very easy to buy a lot of laptops for trainers, but it's much harder to train them how to use those laptops for e-learning, for e-teaching in their classrooms. So on the platform, people will not only have access to modules on basic digital literacy, but also on courses and modules on didactics, pedagogy, and how to manage a classroom in the 21st century. Digital Skills Foundation is very focused on digital inclusion for all. The, the key to our platform is it's easy to use. Actually, we are used to a class-based uh, teaching and learning. Now we are shifting to a blended one or e-learning platforms. For this, uh, there will be a need of a sort of mindset shift, uh, and this requires our teachers to be digitally literate and impart knowledge and skills to our students. We are not now teachers, we are facilitators. We facilitate the students on their skills. So I wish these trainings reach everywhere not only on pivot trainers, but all teachers in Rwanda. You don't change what you teach, but you change how you teach them. I'm motivated to do this in order to contribute in changing how we educate in the 21st century. Because now I use the uh, ICT tools, uh, there are many, many changes uh, in my class. The trainees will get uh, more skills. They will learn how they should communicate with the society. They will learn how they will make the research. So I see that using the that ICT tools, it is, it is a motivation. When you are here, you have a teacher, you know, you meet daily, but when you get on online, it is unlimited. It's a big community with different stories, different backgrounds from every angle of the earth. I have gained more skills on how to use different devices. So digital literacy is needed in every, not only for students, but also for everyone. We are so grateful uh, for the support we are getting. Uh, to make this happen actually, it's a journey and we are optimistic that the future will be bright.